Alrighty, folks, as you can see, here I have my uh, Daiichi Seiko. Seiko, like Seiko watches. I got my Daiichi Seiko line recycler sort of set up here. There's one thing that I really wanted to try above and beyond everything else was reversing the line. So uh, actually, this is the first process. I got me a uh, Daiwa Tatula down here with 15 pound uh, braid on it. It doesn't really need to be turned around, but I'm sort of playing with the project here. So, got the reel set. It's perfect, it's right here on my bench. Okay, let me show you what this looks like from the other side. You got your handle here. You got like a little reel. All right, you got actually a, a clicking drag here. Okay. And then I got the reel down here. I got uh, the drag backed off. So the spool's loose. And what I'm doing is I'm taking all this line off and going to put it on this spool. And then I'm going to take this spool, put it down here, and put it on another spool. So when I go to reel, put it back on the reel again, it reverses it. So, that's sort of how it ends up working. And they give you this little thing to put around your finger. So... While you're doing this, you got a little line guide thing where you just rest your hand on here, right? And you can wind it onto this upper spool. So, the big deal is, is, you know, they don't give you any of these, like leftover spools, so I'm going to have to start saving them. I usually save the big ones, and I guess I probably could be using a big one or a small one or whatever, because this looks like it'll take up to like quarter pound spools or, or, or better. So what I can do here is I can add a little drag to the reel, add a little drag to the top here. And to get this rather tight on the spool and you go back and forth so that's project number one I'm liking it already <laughs> yeah baby professor gadget at home in the wolf den come on my god am I sporting my braid now here's what I say about sporting my braid Kiss my butt where the sun don't shine. All you mono users out there, I can care less. I'm a braid sporter from day one. All the lines off this beautiful Daiwa Tatula down here. 200 HD high speed. Alright. So... I'll show you the next next process if I can figure it out. They give you an entire bag of Gigi gadgets to go. They literally have it where you can have multiple spools on here. And you can have one and then you could be reeling and backing off another one. I mean they got it. They got it going on. Alrighty, folks. Now what I'm doing is what I've been wanting to do. And what was so nice about this machine. I know I'm probably doing it totally half bass backwards here. But what I did is I reeled this line here off the spool. So as I reeled this off the spool... Okay, it took the top of this spool and put them on the bottom of this spool. 
So now what I'm doing is I'm winding the bottom of this spool onto here. And then when I go to put it back on the reel, the line will be totally reversed. Okay. So I'm reversing the line. This is a little 15 pound high seas super braid. So the whole objective is, is to take the line that was on top and being used, put that on the bottom of the spool, and then have the new stuff that hasn't seen daylight since I go complete braid all the way from the, the, the bottom of the spool to the top. I don't fill mono or anything on a uh, low profile bait caster like this. Around here, you don't know, you know, what you're going to tangle into. So, um, it just works better that way. And since this doesn't take, you know, tons of line, it takes a good amount, but it doesn't take, you know, as near what, you know, a big conventional reel would do. So that's what I'm doing now. And then the next step is to take the top of the line and put that on the bottom of the spool. <laughs> it gets a little confusing, believe me. I know, I sat here going, what the hell am I doing? So that's how it works out. In the meantime, I could take this off and I could wash it. You know, I could wash it on here. I could spin it dry. I'm not gonna go through all that right now because I'm just playing. And I wanna show you how it all works. I doubt that I'm really setting this up right. Um, right now, I, you can see I got the line going underneath, coming off the top. Um, I don't know if I was getting the tension right. I'm going to end up, you know, having to pay attention more to the book and the video that they have uh, on YouTube. So, even though this is about this, machine um, by no means am I an expert just yet so we'll get back to it when I'm putting the line back on the reel I just figured it out this was my leader I left my leader attached to here and I had it on the spool right so the way you always know that when you're going to put it back on the reel is there's your leader, right? So your leader used to be on the top. Now your leader is going to be on the bottom. I'm not really putting a leader on the bottom, but it's still here. Oh. I love this thing. I love it. I'm just into stuff like this. Many people aren't. Many people can spend the money. You know, in my business, I got to make stuff last. And reversing the line, actually this is a personal reel of mine, but I'm going to be able to do this as I see line just discoloring and, you know, maybe getting a little fuzzy, you know, how some braids get a little fuzzy, you know, from using it on the, on, on the top, the first top, you know, 50 yards at least. I'm going to be able to reverse this and get better at it and get, uh, faster at it and know more about this machine and be able to just change the line and this is a great spooling machine I can see that already this is going to be a wonderful spooling machine I'll be able to take spools put them right in here I mean take a spool like that put it right in there take the reel hang it right in there and just zing 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 just reel up a whole bunch of new line. It also does spinners for you spinites out there. I got four spinners, but I never use them. Because you know what I found out? I, when you take people and you say, hey, what tackle do you use? And they say, oh, you know, those ones that hang on the bottom or the, or the, the ones with the, the flipper. Well, right there, you know that they're probably not really good spin casting or, you know, spin casting type people to start off with. 
So what do I do? I hand him a Shimano Corrado, man. They got to learn sometime. It's like a baby, you know. Could crawl around, crawl around, crawl around. Well, that kid needs to learn how to walk sometime. And the sooner, the better. So around here, up here in, uh, you know, non-Cosmo, Florida, we go bait casting, baby. The only way to go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get to a point here where I'm actually going to be putting this right back on the reel. So we'll be back. Here's my uh, Tatula down here. Hope everybody can see it. I'm not sure about the camera angles. Okay, let me just make sure you can tune that down a little bit. Got my Tatula right here. And uh, got the tension set on this spool here. And now I am literally taking what was the top of the spool originally. Now I'm putting that on the bottom. And it's just going to level wind itself right on there. And the nice thing about it is you're not sitting here with some pencil between a damn thing and a clamp. And I used to do all kinds of horse shit. And you can adjust the tension because over here you got like a real, you know, you got a genuine real piece with a, you know, a drag and everything. You can uh, adjust the drag and it even makes noise. So, now I'm just putting that line back on. Letting the level wine do its thing. I'm pretty happy. And uh, once I get going with this, I'm sure it's going to be like anything else. It's just a little bit of a learning curve. I looked at all the pictures. And obviously in the handbook, there is a lot of Japanese writing that actually means something. So, I didn't see exactly where to put every single one of these washers and adapters and everything to, to, they got, they have special stuff here. You know, here's a spring to put tension on the spool. And then they give you these, these conical shaped things. Uh, one has where it has, it sticks out right here. Right, there's like a little bump uh, to grab, let's say, the inside of one of these spools. A lot of these spools are kind of notched. So I believe that's to kind of grab the notch, right? Then they've got ones... That, let's see, yeah, there's the one with the notch. And it goes in and grabs the spool. Okay. Then they have another one. Let's see, I saw another one where there's, instead of a notch, it's got, or a, you know, a piece that sticks out. Now it actually has a notch. So I think what this is for is for different, you know, the way they make these spools. I think that's what that's for. And it grabs the spool. Not exactly sure. I will do my best I can with Japanese. But uh, they give you even in here... I'll give you a little Allen wrench to take apart the real part over on this side. And I'll even give you a replacement drag washer for your little real part over here. 
um, some like nylon washers, which I'm not exactly sure what they're for, but this is nice. You put this on your finger and it's a line winder for going back and forth. That's how I put the line on here and adjusting, a, you know, tension on it also. So, um, quite nifty. I'm very satisfied with it. Um, I've sort of been looking for something like this all along. I want to do a shout out here. Uh, to Carl. Carl has a fantastic YouTube channel called Keeping It Real. I have to show Carl this thing. Uh, they do a lot more, really, on their, on the, the manufacturer's uh, video. They do a lot more. That's the problem is you just, you, you don't, you can't understand them because, you know, unless you're Japanese. But I think, Carl, if you're watching, this could be something for you, brother. You seem to be on the same wavelength as I am. Last, last video I just watched, Carl just got himself a brand new Daya Ryoga. Oh, man. It's the uh, Japanese version of the Pluton that they had in the United States that just didn't do anything. <coughs> I'd like to have one. Um, eBay's full of the ones called the Ryoga. Uh, light bay or something like that. They're uh, they're jigging reels. They're for you know vertical jigging. But they certainly would do me good. Uh, just a really 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 top of the line, Daiwa, um, all machined, one piece kind of aluminum reel, with you know twelve ball bearings. I think there's a possibility, you know, Carl, if you're watching, this may be something that a very enthusiastic, you know, bass fisherman that you are, that understands, um, let's say, the finer elements, I think this is something that, that you might be interested in, too. All right, well, I'm going to finish up here, and this is pretty much it. I was going to wash the line, and I decided it's getting a little late, and I'm a little tired. I've had a very busy day. Um, the line doesn't feel dirty. You know, maybe it would be, but maybe next time when I do one of these, I'll, I'll clean up the line. But, so far, so good, folks. So, hope you enjoyed it. You, you learned something. As long as you learn something, that's all that matters. And now, I have brand spanking new 15-pound braid on top of my spool. Where it really matters. Is having that that little bit cleaner line right on top. It's like having your tires rotated. Oh, and they have over on this side. Let's see. I kind of uh, I'll show you here. Over on this side of the spool, let's see, they have this, and you bring your line through the hole, and you just put it through this rubber washer, and that's what holds your line tight. So, it's a very well-made piece of uh, equipment. This is all metal, 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 metal here. 
the reel down here where the reel goes is uh, just like a nylon or plastic or whatever. All quality components. There's the reel part. When I saw this, I said, I just got to have it. So I've been watching this video for a while. I actually had, I actually had at one point, I think this company's video of how to use this in Japanese on a playlist on the bottom of my YouTube channel. And on the bottom of my YouTube channel, I called it Tackle of Interest. I don't know if anybody saw it. But I just put a bunch of stuff down there that I thought was, was super interesting. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And hopefully maybe the next time you see me, it'll be on the water. Alrighty. Time for a new PBR.